Well, dog owners may want to keep count of how many cicadas that their pets are eating. News 18's Marvin Bills reports how dangerous the creepy crawlers could be for man's best friend. Our pets enjoy treats and for some that may include a cicada, but pet experts say in this case too much of something good could be bad. Cicadas are not toxic themselves. The problem is that they have an exoskeleton like all insects do. Dr. Pamela Jackson with Creekside Animal Hospital is talking about these, the shell left after the cicada has hatched. That can irritate the stomach lining and we can certainly get gastritis, which means inflammation of the stomach lining, which might result in vomiting and or diarrhea. Dr. Jackson says it could be the result of a pet excessively eating the exoskeleton, but if you find yourself in a situation where your pet has eaten too many. Bland diet, um, maybe take away their food for 12 hours, give the stomach a chance to rest, and then bland diet, which might be a combination of boiled rice, cottage cheese, those kind of things. And certainly consult with your veterinarian as to what kind of bland diet they might recommend. She says too much vomiting could lead to dehydration. You could get perhaps even a fecal impaction if you had too much of that um, chitin the material that causes the exoskeleton and uh, bulking up the stool that you could get constipation as well. One or two crunchy cicada shells may not hurt, but too many could be a problem. If you do find your, your animals really interested in those, maybe keeping them in in the evening when they're a little more active. Lafayette, Marvin Bills, News 18. Dr. Jackson says exoskeletons from grasshoppers, Japanese beetles, and June bugs also pose similar threats.